Oh, oh no, oh, I'm oh. hooked in the oh, guys. I'm hooked in the crotch. One or two. Yeah. Going Ike, brought to you by Abu Garcia. Say something to me. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Here's the good news. Just received my brand new 2024 Tundra, and she's a beauty. We're getting ready to take her on her maiden voyage. We're headed up to Connecticut to Thayer's Marine to a bass cat appearance, and then after that, a little striper fishing. Are you ready for this? I am. Come on, let's go. Perfect age. I hope you get it. So the first thing, if you were driving, my first reaction would be like, OH MY GOD! You just, you're too lucky. Did you see the whole thing? I think you chop it, it's done like this. But then when you move it, and it throws slack into it. In the days of the dinosaur, right. once roamed this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost older than a marker buoy. If you have a, if you have an actual marker buoy in your boat, you've probably got this book. Right. If you have a flasher in your boat, you probably got this boat. That's great, man. Oh boy, I love it. Side banks over there. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Welcome to a brand new Going Ike. I got a good one for you today with John, John, I just met John, but listen, right. you're from Delco area, Delco. you gotta be a good guy. And of course, Mike Roy, good buddy of mine. Mike, good to see you again. What's up? All right, here's the thing. We're fishing a Connecticut River, but it's cold. This is winter time, it's December. What's gonna happen today, fellas? What do you think? We're gonna find some stripers. I think it's December, so I don't think they've totally settled into their, their winter hibernation. So hopefully we get a few fish to bite. All right, well, John, listen to me. I have a bad luck streak going with stripers right now. My last two times on the surf, goose egging it, okay? So this has to be an icebreaker for yep. me. We can only go up from here. <laughs> only go up from here. It can't get any worse. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> Little striper fishing with the fellas, cold water. Come on, let's go. Uh, probably 20 off to the right. Yeah, right? that's crazy. That's a bunch of dots. Jimmy. Yeah. Up. Yo, dots. Steer the right. So we're going to be fishing a uh, half ounce jig head. We'll fish anywhere from three eighths to three quarters ounce. And I call it a swing bite. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working different angles, usually casting a uh, slightly up current. Um, and we're going to let the jig settle to the bottom and a slow retrieve, a uh, little pops to the jig. And you want the jig swinging naturally with the current. That's why it's called a swing bite because we're just letting that jig swing with the current. And uh, the bites, because these fish are lethargic, it's going to be a real soft bite. So any little tap we feel on the jig, we're gonna we're gonna set the hook. Hook sets are free. So uh, hopefully we're gonna get some fish here. You stoked, Mike? Oh man, I'm stoked. Listen, I'm fishing for something other than largemouth and smallmouth. I'm stoked. Did you get the first bite? What's that? Fish down there. Is there that many of them? <laughs> Didn't even hit it, it just kind of like. Yeah, it just had a mush mouth. Just had yeah, a mush mouth. That's yeah. exactly what it did. It's a good one, dude. Right, we'll take it. Here we go. 
Yeah. No goose egg. No goose egg. <laughs> no Jumps goose off. egg. We're ready. Hey, this is a win already. It was a win already. That's not a bad thing. You don't know the typical go and ice shoots. We sometimes go four or five hours without a oh, that's, yeah, that's tough. That's, that's pretty tough. special. Yeah. You know? When that happens, you just pull the plug on the boat. <laughs> collect the insurance money. Sick. Yeah, look at that. That's it right there. Five and three quarter inch soft plastic, half ounce jig head. Beautiful. Nice looking fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, I'm all caught up. I have my reels caught. You got him now? Heck yeah. Hey, there oh, he man. is. Wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, boat All right, 172 walking miles on the beach and two days of no bites. <laughs> and got one on my first drop. <laughs> oh, that felt good. That felt good. I think that'd be awesome. It, it's game changing, you know. It can also lead you down the wrong road sometimes. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. I mean, smashed it. That one actually hit it. Didn't mush my at all. Yeah. Oof. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh boy, this is fun. Tell you. Oh boy. Not a soft hit. Oh. Guess downstream too. Yeah, well I didn't want the drag on the line. Yeah. I figured we were getting a little Yeah. The boat was dragging it a little bit. Yeah. So. You got you got a little quality bite going there. I go I go quality. I'm, quality. I'm cleaning all the little 12 <laughs> inches out. You got a little quality going on there. Yeah, you do. Oh, another big one, dude! Wow. Are these uh, fish in season? Can you keep fish? Or? Oh, you can. Yeah, there's a slot limit on them. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, Pretty narrow winter, 28 to 31 inches. Yeah, that's what we have in Jersey he's a, now. Yeah, he's a little under slot. Um, but like I was saying before, these are uh, holdover fish. So we're uh, we're in December. These fish just showed up. They usually show up right after Thanksgiving. So they've been in the river for a couple weeks now, um, and they're still biting. Is it ugly? <sighs> what they'll do when you come out here in like the middle of winter, like January, <laughs> February, these fish will just totally be lethargic. So you could Stop run in these the river. rivers and um, these fish are just basically just hibernating on the bottom. Um, that's a nice quality fish, probably 26 incher. Um, I big eye everything. I'd call that one about 15 pounds. 15 pounds? <laughs> <or yeah. laughs> you know how I do it. Everything's big, you know? Yep. That little guy. Sweet. Love it, love it. Man, they're pretty fish. Yeah, I feel like they get prettier as the weather gets colder. I feel like they get more like purple. Summertime, they look a little funky sometimes. Yeah. You know, I've I tied one on my bait cast. Did you? you got one on oh, there? I got one on. You told me about it, and I was like, oh, that would be fun. Spring, sometimes you gotta play a little dirty. Seven. There's so many right there. Do you catch multiples on it or? Oh, I have before. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm all bird up here. <laughs> that one actually that ate one. it though. <laughs> that, one. that one ate it though. Alright. John and I are doubled up. John's got a 30 pounder on, I got a three incher on. That's usually how it goes. That this one's not that big, but he this one did eat it though. For a change. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hi. Good one, dude. Yeah, we got, I would say they're brothers. Twins. They're brothers. In the mouth too. Uh -huh. oh, I ate it, ate it.
<laughs> God, they are so pretty, dude. I'm in love with this. You need any first mates, guys? Yeah. We'll I'm looking it. for work. <laughs> I swear I can do every. I can clean. I do everything. I'll do all the meaning, meaningless jobs <laughs> for you guys. Man. Look at that, dude. Isn't that beautiful? That's a 13 pounder. Yeah. Looks more like 20 to me. <laughs> I'm teaching these guys already how to do it. <laughs> Overestimate everything. Beautiful, dude. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? You got me right in the face. <laughs> that fish punched me. He was like, look, you're hooking me in the face. I'm going to punch you in the face. Just for good measure. Hammer time. 11. Shoot. He ate it, though. Oh wait, uh, uh, oh no, uh, I'm uh, hooked in the, uh, guys, I'm hooked in the crotch! <laughs> He's got me right in the, oh. No. You might want to, <laughs> you might want to get that fish off first. <laughs> <You> got <five? laughs> I got it, yeah, I got it. Don't do that, please. I know, that would be bad. Make that I'm not cold. pulling the trouble out of my, I'm going to an ER and saying numb it, you know? There's a rip line right up here, so there's a little bar right here. Uh, deep channel over here about 25 feet shallow flat over here comes up to like several feet over there and they're right on that they like sitting right in that rip line especially right. with some moving water you get a little bit of uh, turbidity moving and on that drop off these fish will just stack up this one's either snagged or he's a big Yeah, 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 go ahead. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's our second double, John. That's right. Mike just sucks him. Yeah, I know. I'm changing lures. <laughs> Mike had the hot hand. He got the first two, and then he passed the ball to us. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. Long. Look how long he is. Holy smokes. Boy. Wow. That trigo vibe is awesome though. It actually it's interesting because you're getting fish eating the bait and you're getting a few of those bumpers. And and some of them, you know, they're they're lethargic, so they're turning at it, head butting it, you know, hitting it with their side. And with those hooks, you just you get them. So it's it's catching some bonus fish, which is nice. Look at that thing. Oh boy, that's a long one. That is awesome, dude. Look at that. Love it. They are beautiful fish. Look at the color. Look at that purple when you tilt it to the side. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's fun. Potomac a lot for, you know, we have a tournament there every, at least every year. Yeah. But not the lower Potomac. You know, like Upper Potomac. Land, right? Oh boy. Doubles. Uh -oh. Doubles. That's a big fish, isn't it? Oh, yeah, big slow, one. Yeah. That's the nicest uh, fish. Uh -oh. Really slowing it down. Triple, triple, triple. We're tripled up. We're tripled. Nice. Triples. Oh, no, I did it again. I pulled up again. Ah. The finesse fish. Five and three quarter inch finesse fish. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> nice quality December fish a week before Christmas. Merry Christmas.
already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was that? That must have been cool, was, right? I, dude, I was like, my mouth was open. That's another good one. Look at this. <laughs> Bill Terrence used to do the one where he used to run in a trailer his all the time. Was that him? Oh, yeah. yeah, that was so yeah. funny. <laughs> the Bill Dance bloopers were pretty funny. Yeah, that funny. was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Chinned him. Chinned him. It's a good look, though, at, at some of them fish you'll hook under the chin. You know, they're kind of going down on it. And when you pull up, you're pulling into them, you know? Does that have a rattle in it, too? No rattle. Yeah. How, how you that thing, like? Almost like a rattle trap. I like, I, man, I got, I got to get it What color is that thing, pink? It's, uh, some shad pattern. I'll leave you with Thank this you one can. so you have a reference. The Tackle Warehouse has them. What, what I like about it too is it's a very small profile. It's about three inches long, and it's, it, but it's heavy, right? It's so heavy, it cuts, dude. It cuts the water. It's heavy. It would cut the wind if it was windy. Oh, yeah, you can cast this thing like a bullet, man. Very seldom fouls up, you know. I think so. Great, dude. That one ate it too. God, they fight hard. Oh. Oh. Nice one. Ooh. Hey now. Are you going to both hook that guy? I don't know. He's a little big. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, that one ate it. That's the deal right there. That's a good look at that bait. You know, even in uh, striper fishing, sometimes switching colors a little bit. This is that three quarter ounce Molex Trago vibe. I was fishing the silver earlier, I switched to the glow. Got a little dark, you know, so I'm just using theories that I use in largemouth fishing for the stripers, but we're around them. Mike's hooked up. This is actually a good time. I might hold on to this one to get a picture here for the double. Oh, hey, shit. spit it at me. Hey. Oh my God. More. Wow. <laughs> I was dead sticking it too. Piece of metal just laying on the bottom. <laughs> Doing nothing. 50 pounds? 50 pounder? We Holy. 50. Mike Roy, Real Cast Charters. Real spelt with two E's. Um, uh, we're based out of Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Uh, we do a lot of fishing for big striped bass and light tackle. We do a lot of, a lot of live bait. We also fish a lot of top water and soft plastics and artificials. But we do everything uh, in Long Island Sound. So we fish for striped bass, bluefish, false albacore, blackfish, black sea bass. Real good variety and mix of fish we get. Find me on Instagram, Real Cast Charters. Um, you can go to my website, realcastcharters.com, and uh, reach out. You can email, uh, call me, text me, message me, whatever. Mike Aguinelli is my hero. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a hell of a good one, man. Yeah, there's slow retrieve. That one was more of a proper thump. That's a resident fish, right? I mean, right now, mm -hmm. that fish does that fish does migrate, but yeah. this time of the year, they're yeah. just, they held up shop here. Like, this yeah, is their is. home. But they're a winter resident. 
So we call them holdovers, winter holdovers, but they show up usually late November, early December, and they'll be here usually around mid-April, late April, they'll start to drop out of these rivers and then they'll migrate north up to, up to Maine. Wow. But they'll, they'll stage in, this, uh, in these rivers for probably three, three to four months over the wintertime. Yeah. And all the rivers throughout, uh, the, I would say all the Northeast, but the, yeah. the lower Northeast um, have these holdover populations. You just incredible. you need a, a river that's deep enough. So yeah. you know the, the average depth in this river is probably 20 feet, 25 feet, and they'll just um, hunker down and sit near the bottom all winter. Wow. Well, that's a nice fish. You took the uh, the center bait, the big bait. Well, decent one. You know, we were It's fatty. That's a nice one, dude. You want to Another dink. Uh, it's a dead stick in it, too. It's not even moving. No. Just a piece of metal sitting on the bottom. <laughs> he just sat there for a while. Like. I'm not too excited about my chances of landing him. That's a good one, dude. One? That's a good one. Me too. Oh, heck wow. yeah. It is down his throat, dude. Yeah. Gulp that. Triple. 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 Hold on. Look at that fish. Let's get a picture. Of course, this is the one that I caught. So. <laughs> <laughs> then I gotta go home and be like, I promised uh, I caught better might be ones. Smaller. <laughs> oh, like you, you oh, gotta. This picture's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Too little. Guys, this has been incredible. Like for me as a bass guy to come up here and do this it, a week before Christmas, it's been incredible. So thank you guys for showing me this bite. Uh, listen, click on the link in the description down here. Information to both these guys. Come out and fish with them. It's amazing fishing. Striper fishing in Connecticut in December. Yeah. Cold water it. fishing. It's a lot of fun. Thank <laughs> you guys. Bye. <laughs> hey everybody, Mike Iconelli. Thank you for watching Going Ike. I hope you learned something. While you're here, stop right now. Hit that subscribe button. Become a subscriber to my channel. We have new content coming every single week. And while you're here, check out these other two videos. They're really, really good.